everyone! So today I'm going to do a review on my updated foundation routine and I'm also going to show you guys how I apply it. I've been using this new routine for about a month now and when I went home for Christmas my mom actually said that she thought my skin looked better than it had ever looked before which I took as a huge compliment because my skin has not always been my best feature. I'm wearing it on my face right now and it's especially good for me because it's specifically designed to look good on camera and in pictures. So it's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, and I was actually sent the HD Complexion Starter Kit by Makeup Forever, but if you've watched a previous beauty haul of mine, then you'll know that I already owned the HD Powder. This set comes with the primer, the powder, and the foundation, and you can pick your foundation shade. They have this shade finder tool that I'll link below to help you find your shade, and then you can get this kit with any of their 26 shades, which is kind of cool. You don't have to like pick. A lot of times with kits, they'll only have like light, medium, or dark, and I've talked in previous videos videos about wanting to try the HD foundation but I didn't own it so you can imagine I was pretty excited when I got this kit in the mail. The first step is the HD primer and this says it's a lightweight oil-free primer with mineral reflectors to diffuse imperfections and minimize the appearance of pores. So the silica beads are actually going to help give a soft focus to your face and that's going to help hide imperfections and it's also going to nourish and moisturize your skin before foundation. So it's just going to help prep your skin and give it a really even canvas that the foundation can then just glide right on top. So it has a really, really great finish. And as you guys know, I'm sensitive to silica, but I haven't noticed any problems with this primer and I've been wearing it every day for like a month. So I'm actually going to apply this just with my fingers and I already have foundation on. It's the middle of the night right now. It's actually like 2 a.m. It says to use about a dime size amount for your entire face. I don't even use that much. I use about that much and I apply this with my fingers but make sure that your fingers are clean. That actually is probably about a dime size, maybe a little bit smaller. But I'm actually just going to dab this into my skin, kind of press it into my skin and then I'm gonna smooth it out. So I start on my cheeks just because I feel like my cheeks are driest. I don't know, I, I kind of feel like this is a little bit moisturizing and I put this on after my morning moisturizer. So I just press it into my skin to start with and then I blend it all out after I have it so I'm now going to go through and kind of smooth it out. The next step is the HD Invisible Cover Foundation and this says a full coverage foundation that invisibly covers imperfections. Its oil free formula neutralizes shine while nourishing the skin and protecting it from dryness. This has an amazing finish. That is my favorite thing about this foundation. It gives you such a healthy like satiny finish that just looks like skin but so much better. So I have really dry skin and my sister has really oily skin and we've both been loving this foundation. There's something about it, it just kind of creates a balance in your skin. I apply it with a flat brush so it's on my hand, I just kind of get a little bit on my flat brush. And I start in the center of my face, so that the center of my face has the most coverage, and then the coverage kind of blends out. And that's just going to help everything blend. It's going to make the jawline blend better. Plus, you tend to need the most coverage in the center of your face anyway. I'm going to do my entire face, just getting a little bit more foundation as I need it. And after I've done my whole face with the brush, I like to take a clean makeup sponge and just press it into my skin to help press the foundation. And it's also going to help, I feel like, just set the foundation and also smooth out any lines that might have formed from when you were using a brush. Sometimes I find that brushes are a little bit streaky. So I like to just kind of finish it by pressing it in with a sponge. You could also do this with your fingers. You can apply this foundation very nicely with your fingers. I started applying it with my fingers and then I kind of played with lots of different ways to apply it. I used um, different types of brushes and stuff and I found that I like this combination the most. The flat foundation brush and then the makeup sponge. I am color 118 but you can find your shade by going to the shade finder tool which I will link in the information box underneath this video. The last step is the Makeup Forever HD Powder, which I apply with the Kabuki brush that comes in the kit. This is the Makeup Forever Kabuki brush, and it is super, super soft. Like, this Kabuki brush will make you want to get the kit 
just because of this. It feels so good. This is the softest kabuki brush I've ever had. I've been using this setting powder for longer than the other products because I actually owned it before and this is my favorite setting powder. This stuff is amazing. It says it creates a radiant complexion and leaves the skin feeling incredibly soft and silky. So basically the way it works is this is made of 100% mineral silica particles. I think it's, yeah, 100% mineral silica. And it is made up of these little spherical particles that allows light to reflect off of it, which masks your imperfections and gives you kind of like a soft focus finish, which is what makes your skin look so radiant and soft and like perfect. Plus, it's a great setting powder. So on top of that, it's also going to just help set your foundation and make it last all day. So I'm actually going to apply this with um, the Kabuki brush that comes in the kit. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on the tip of the Kabuki brush. I'm gonna swirl the brush into the lid a little bit to really get the product into the bristles and really pack the Kabuki brush. And then I'm gonna swirl it in circular motions all over my face to set it. So I'm gonna go like this. And this brush is so soft, I love it. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of baby pink blush just because I kind of covered up all of my blush just to give my cheeks a little pop of healthy color and then I am completely like camera ready picture perfect HD proof so if I wanted to go out if anyone takes pictures I won't have that kind of white look that you can get a lot of times with foundation I hope you guys enjoyed this video this updated foundation routine review and I will see you guys in my next video check out the link below if you want to find your custom color and leave me a comment with your favorite foundation routine okay I'll see you guys later bye